These are the top 10 autumn essentials if you're trying to look fly this season. I think the eighth is the best one, so stick around. Johnny's got your back. So we're gonna rapid fire the first three, that is texture, jackets, and color. So number one, texture. So texture is by far one of the most underrated aspects of an outfit. You hear people talking about it, but what should you even look for? Let me break down the importance of texture real quick. So let's just say you bought a car and every fabric or texture is exactly the same. Let's just say plastic or all leather. The leather is probably gonna be a little bit better, but the whole entire feel of the car is going to be boring. There's just no difference. Everything's just the same exact texture and you wouldn't want that, right? Because it's the contrast of texture textures that makes things feel more tangible and look better. So you've got the leather, the mesh fabric, the metal, and the soft touch plastic. All of these things matter and when placed together, you get a luxury piece. So that's how you want to think of it when it comes to your own fits. Now luckily, it's going to be a lot easier because a shirt is typically made a lot different than pants. However, you can step it up even further for one that you can actually see, touch, and feel. So yes, that's where knitwear comes in. So real quick, these are the exact same type of pieces. We're going to layer a jacket over this tank top versus this tank top. That's already an easy $10 difference that you are going to notice instantly. And that's just one example. You can look for a piece with texture paneling, a different fabric, multi pockets, zippers, buttons, Velcro, pleated details, etc. All of these little details are what add texture to your piece and not just a knitted sweater. So when you tweak these little things and you find a piece with, let's just say, more buttons, more pockets, a zipper, all of these little tweaks are going to add up and compound and you're going to have a better fit. So that is what I like to look for when it comes to a textured piece. I would highly recommend starting off with a regular shirt depending how cold it is for you you can do a regular shirt or a jacket but start off with a pleated shirt or a pleated jacket just that little subtle detail makes a huge difference and it's still timeless when it comes to trousers you can look for ones that are pleated double pleated those little things add a little bit of texture even this quilted sling y'all been seeing all over the net it's just 20 bucks on amazon throw it on you got instant texture right there so always keep texture in mind you are not limited to knitwear number two an assortment of jackets tailored to your style so i'd say when you're first getting started, you really only need two of four of these jackets. A denim jacket, a bomber jacket, a leather jacket, and a shell jacket. This is a great place to start. It should cover most people's hobbies and lifestyles, which would fit with your personal style because that's just who you are. And as you can see, each one of these jackets is a different texture as well. So yeah, you're going to gravitate towards one or the other depending on your lifestyle, your interests, your climate, which all those little factors are going to pull you closer towards your personal style. It should already fit in with you. So you might be a workwear guy or a military guy you're very hands-on very self-reliant the denim jacket or the bomber jacket is probably going to sue you now if you're big on hiking being outdoors or it precipitates a lot in your area the shell jacket is probably going to be for you so as you can see that is a great place to start and eventually you can expand because there's a variety of jackets out there and your style is going to progress over time naturally like right now i'm just leaning into my people my culture so asian inspired jackets suit my style perfectly but if you don't look like me it's all good man you can rock it as well it's called cultural appreciation but also i don't know if you all noticed but I'm a big Star Wars fan. So I'm, I'm talking to you with uh, the Ahsoka lightsaber hilts from Clone Wars after Anakin swapped out the Kyber crystal to blue. So a lot of the jackets that I own lean towards that cyberpunk dystopian motif. So yeah, the more you actually nail down what your interests are, the more you're gonna wanna wear those types of pieces. And like I said, because it's part of your personality, it's part of your personal style. That's just the way it goes. Because I don't know if you guys remember, but Arc'teryx was popping in like 2020, 2021 era. Hiker Court was the thing, even though we, we couldn't go outside at the time. Time, that quickly disappeared. So if you're still rocking those pieces, that means you actually like that. So yeah, really lean into your interests, indulge in that, don't feel guilty about it. You're also gonna feel more like yourself. So let's keep it moving. Number three, the right colors. So how can it be a fall video and not talk about colors, okay? So we all know color is important, earth tones, dark colors and all that. So for this year and going forward, I want you to experiment around with colored pants and colored jackets. And that's only if you've built your foundation for your wardrobe. So yeah, this year, just try and incorporate one colorful piece that isn't a shirt or a hoodie. This is going to get you out of your comfort zone. And because it's the fall season, these darker colors are going to be much easier to style than if you tried this during the summertime. So yeah, that's just a little bit of homework for you to do this season. Of course, I love the earth tones. Get a lot of those olive, tan, oranges, burnt orange. Oh yeah, fellas, if you want a great place to start, try on a colored hoodie. Something like this racing green hoodie from Cotton, 
the sponsor of today's video. So fellas, Cotton has been one of my favorite brands as of late. Y'all see me work with them in the past. I've been rocking their cardigans, their striped tees, but right now we're in fall and y'all gotta check out these pieces. All beautifully designed and perfect if you're into that minimal street style. So like I said, this racing green hoodie is the perfect color for autumn. It's not olive, it's not brown, it's not orange. It's a good way to get out of your comfort zone, but also a hoodie Everybody knows how to style a hoodie. You're gonna wear it a lot, so you can layer with it. It's easy to style. I usually style this with a white shirt underneath, so it just pokes out a little bit. It's soft, cozy, and I love the sizing. And another colored piece you can try is a color blocked one. So something like Cotton's rugby shirt already comes color blocked. It's not too bold by being a fully colored piece, so you do get a little bit of a pop of color. And their accessories too. It's just perfect for this season. We'll get into accessories later on in this video. But let me continue with Cotton's other pieces. This Hamada sweater in the umber color is so cozy and comfortable to wear. We did talk about texture earlier and this piece is perfect to rock on its own this fall. It looks so good just on its own. And then we got the Esna jacket in the denim herringbone color. Very premium, comes slightly crotched, which fits my proportions a lot better. And just look at the detail in the fabric. Also another great colorful piece that isn't too in your face, which just makes it easier to wear this season. But Cotton is one of those brands that focuses on timeless foundational pieces for your wardrobe. Literally everything from Cotton has been some of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe, which is why I'm always layering with their pieces. So yeah, Cotton should definitely be on your radar this fall and winter. They've got stuff if you're into streetwear or casual menswear. Like I said, this is one of my favorite brands as of late. I've been rocking them nonstop. If you guys want to pick up some Cotton pieces, click that first link down in the description, browse their website. I know you guys are going to find something that you'll like. At the very least, pick up a colored piece like their hoodie. Thank you, Cotton, for sponsoring today's video. Let's keep it moving. Number four, the vest. So I think vests are still super underrated. So they had their thing in like one 2018 to 2020 ish died down very quick i've seen a slight resurgence of it but a lot of people still don't wear it enough in my opinion and so going back to texture this does exactly that so as soon as you do that you're going to get a different texture over your top layer and it's also going to keep you warm and add some visual interest to your fit now i know all of y'all have a black hoodie so pick up a black vest throw it on top of your black hoodie you're going to see that textural contrast you look like you know what you're doing when it comes to layering and it'll keep you warm now if you already do have quite the hoodie collection it might be a good idea to try and match a color vest with a colored hoodie you can get some great looks that way as well and when it comes to vests you can never go wrong with the uniqlo vest so they have the wider puffer vest and they have the slimmer ones i think wider does look better i personally got one from them i also have some from nike and from lululemon just find whatever you like the most the brand doesn't matter it's all about the visual interest of the vest and how it'll contrast against your top layer but yeah fellas vests are super underrated pick some up they have different textures different styles there's something for everyone number five high cut footwear all right fellas we're at the halfway point right now and I'm not even in the good stuff yet. So hit the like button for that. Anyways, high cut footwear is one of those things that'll automatically make your fit feel more automatic, a little bit more fashionable. Of course, they call it boot season for a reason, but you're not limited to boots. There's quite a bit of sneakers that are a little bit higher cuts and they look great as well. So my favorites have to be these two, the Doc Martin Chelsea boots and the Cold Wall Converse. Got a boot and a sneaker boot, but I've expanded. I've picked up some Guidi boots. I also have the Bomba 2 high cut sneakers. Those are dope as well. There's so much out there for you to experience man around with. Right now, the thing is to drape your pants over the sneakers. I love that look as well, but don't limit yourself to that. You can also get a little bit more of a cropped piece or you can cuff your wide fit pants a little bit. And that contrast between the wide fit cut of your pants to the slim boot, it just looks so good in my opinion. And that is one of my fall essentials. Number six, master the grayscale spectrum. So this is a concept where if I had to give advice to my younger self, I'd say focus on this first. Just master the grayscale spectrum. Everything between black and white, which technically makes this a monochromatic fit. And you'll start to see it translate to other colors later on but i don't want to get ahead of myself make it a point to only stick to a desaturated fit so only gray only white only black no colors i already made a whole video about grayscale already so you guys should definitely check it out but to sum it up this is going to save you money because you don't have to buy a whole lot of pieces everything's going to work well together and you're going to wear these clothes a whole lot more and i actually think it's going to expand your style even if you're a little bit more experienced in fashion and the reason being is you focus more on shapes textures your proportions and your silhouettes all of these things matter so much more than having that luxury piece. And if you are getting started and you perfect this, when you start to introduce colors, it'll be a smooth transition. Any colored piece is going to look great on top of a grayscale fit. Trust me. So yeah, grayscale looks awesome because it looks intentional. People all the time give advice on wear all black. Start with that. And I would disagree with them. All black does look great, but if to really get a nice all black fit, you have to understand textures, silhouettes, all of this stuff you can get with the grayscale spectrum, but you're not too limited. You can add some gray, you can add some white. White, and it just looks better in my opinion and to be honest fellas i've actually gotten more compliments on my grayscale fits versus the color
colored ones. That's anecdotal to me, but yeah, I just think it opens up so many doors to your personal style. Let's keep it moving. Number seven patterns and graphics okay so obviously this is more for when you're experienced in fashion you have your style a little bit dialed down and guess what once you master the grayscale a pattern or graphic piece is just gonna slide in smoothly so when you get here this will really push your style and also make you stand out so be tasteful about it and just as an example you can see right now i have this noragi style jacket whole bunch of different graphics and patterns this is as loud as it can get and as you can see i'm rocking a grayscale base and this looks awesome man i also have this stand collar shirts i have these tie-dye pants but since we're in season right now i'd say get a pattern jacket first it's a lot easier to implement in your wardrobe rather than some crazy pattern pants a jacket is just a jacket you got varsity jackets you have flannel jackets things like that is what you want to keep an eye out for number eight an assortment of underlayers all right fellas this is my favorite essential because i think it's going to change your thought process so yeah fellas hoodies are great i have plenty in my wardrobe but you really don't need that much what you should be doing is focus on your other underlayers fall is all about layering of course and you'll always hear about top layers you don't hear too much about different underlayers. So we're gonna go at it from a warmth and daily wear perspective first. We got two fits right here. They're the exact same warmth, but they have a completely different shape. Same with these two fits right here. I like to think of this like having different routes to the same destination. If there's traffic on one route or you're not filling a certain route, you can go to a different route and still get to the same destination. That's the same thing with this warmth perspective. Having a variety of underlayers just gives you more flexibility. So if you go outside and you walk around, you're gonna see most people just layer with a hoodie or just layer over a regular shirt. They're missing out on so much more potential. So here's what I recommend. A tank top in black and white, button up collared shirts, oversized or slim fit depending on you stand collar shirts more hoodies of course if you don't have that many hoodies but if you want to switch it up try out a zipper hoodie building out this foundation will set you for life and it's as simple as just wearing the same jacket but swapping out your underlayer you can have a ton of different looks that way and for different temperatures number nine long shirts and coats extra length is important in many aspects of life Okay, but for real, an easy way to dress better is just throw on a longer piece. As Soon as you throw it on, it instantly gives you that fall aura and you're already layering well without even trying. It's just the extra length that's doing all the work. And as soon as I see someone else wearing a longer coat, I'm like, okay, he's very fashionable. It's just instant fashion points right there. And like I said, coats and shirts. So you're not just limited to the regular coats. There's so many variety of coats, but you also got shirts as well for whenever it's a little bit warmer, you're at the early part of fall. You just gotta keep an eye out for it. This one right here is white three this one is sites by yoji yamamoto this one's a cold wall and then we got rosen right here garments like these are a great transition piece for the colder season and they can also be layered well during the coldest months but yeah a coat will flow with you as you walk having that flow matters that drape it also gives you a more mature sophisticated look if say regular coats with a collar but you also have plenty of other jackets i am big on parka jackets especially when i lived in new york it is required to not freeze to death but yeah these parka jackets are perfect for when you live in a colder climate or it precipitates a lot like i said earlier finding jackets that suit your personal style i think the long coats will suit a lot of people especially if you're into menswear they've got oversized ones slim fit ones it doesn't matter throwing on a coat instant fashion points number 10 complimentary accessories all right we're finally here another underrated topic in fashion that is the complimentary accessories for the look that you're going for you hear all of the time about jewelry a timepiece i'm all for that but you're just missing out on so many other accessories that are out there let me give you a list of a ton of accessories that are out there that a lot of people don't think about so of course you got caps you got beanies then you got bandanas make sure you know which street you're walking on i'm not joking about that you got gloves fingerless gloves neck gaiters sling bags belts carabiners sash Ashes, scarves, eyewear, suspenders, straps. And you can just keep going and going depending on your style. For me, since I'm really into that tech wear, a lot of the aspects of tech wear focuses on the that oppressive states, you know, the empire in Star Wars, let's just say that. So you'll see a lot of accessories that hide your face, like a neck gaiter, you got gloves and all that. So keep in mind for all these little accessories that can complement your style, there's something for everyone. And I know a lot of you guys are saying, oh, what's the whole point of covering your face? Yada, 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 that's so impractical. Hey man, if you've ever lived in New York City, try riding across the Manhattan Bridge on a city bike in the middle of winter and you're gonna wish you had a face mask or a little neck gear. So shut your mouth <laughs> so yeah fellas those are my top 10 essentials hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you found that helpful and until then stay fly deuces